guys, my name is Michael and welcome to a new GTK tutorial. Today we are going to move on with our signals and uh, we are going to learn a new function. But before I introduce you the new function, let me introduce you the program, which is a little bit uh, different from the last one, but it's not that uh, different. It is only that I created a button. Uh, with a label, I set its margin to 50 and I put the button inside the window and then uh, I'm connecting with G-Signal Connect uh, the clicker signal to the button. Once that the button gets clicked, the clicker call will get called and the window it is passed. Here I'm checking only if the button and the window are indeed the button and the window and then the button was clicked will be printed. So if I'm compiling and running the program right now, as you can see, we have a button. Once that I click, it says the button was clicked, nothing special. Okay, anyway, now, what we are going to do now? Do you remember when I said that the G signal connect function does return something? And that something which does uh, this function return, it is called a signal ID, which is an ID unique to identify uh, the signal which uh, you are connecting to the uh, object uh, you are working with or in this case the delete event or the destroy event now I'm going to show you something uh, we are going to work in this video in the next videos uh, with this ID and for this I'm going uh, at uh, first I'm going to save the return of the GCNR connect uh, right here uh, to into a variable so for this we need basically a GU long and of course the signal ID as identifier once that we have it we can shortly print it the signal ID in main is percent uh, long U and then the signal ID now I'm going to compile it and run it for a second just to see that everything is fine and everything works fine. And as you can see the signal ID made is 42 which is fine. Now because it is working we can basically start to work with the new, the new functions. And the function which I'm going to introduce you right, right now it is a function called gSignalHandle is connected. With the help of this function basically you can um, find out if an object, an instance does really have that handle ID, that signal ID before you try to work with. This means if it has it, you work with it. If it don't, it sh should not work with a wrong one. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going first uh, make a connection between the, uh, the signal ID and the window. And for this, I'm going to work with G object uh, set data function for those of you which you don't know too much about these functions i'm strongly suggesting you to go first to the G, uh, gtk uh, uh, g object playlist sorry uh, which i provided for you guys and uh, once that you understand exactly everything about the g object uh, which i introduced you there uh, those functions uh, come back here okay so g object set data uh, I need to cast it, of course, you should already know this. Okay, so with the window, we are making a connection. Uh, signal ID will be the K, and of course, the signal ID will be the ID. Now, because we have this connection, we can retrieve it right here. So, the thing which I'm going to do now, of course, it will be to, to save the signal ID. So, GU int uh, signal ID. And then G uh, um, G object uh, the, the function which we need it is uh, the G object get data and here we need the window and of course the K which is the signal ID K now let me print it for first uh, G print the K in clicked callback is percent U signal ID. Now let's see how it's working and let's see what exactly happens. Now the G object get data, we do have a 
Agnode type of GeoInt first, okay, because we need the GeoInt. Now let's see if everything's fine. No, in terms of Geo, from a point, uh, yes, okay, okay, of course, because I need to cast uh, that that um, uh, variable back, so I need to call the G pointer to int G uh, pointer to int for this to you int because this is very important. Now we can pass the call of the G object get data inside it, and then it will be casted. Uh, it will be uh, transformed to uh, o int. Now let me compile it and run it. And here we do have another problem. Yes, because here we need to do the same, the same thing. We need to cast the G U int basically to uh, pointer. So G U int to pointer pointer and here we put the signal ID let me compile it around it finally hopefully it is uh, hopefully it will work fine now the signal ID main is 41 the K in clicker callback is also 41 and the button was clicking which means everything works fine because everything works fine and we have something to work with we are going now basically I'm going to remove this one right here because we don't need it and I'm going to say if and now it is time to call the function if G signal handler is connected and we need the instance which is the window we are checking if it's there and of course the signal ID so if those of uh, are true uh, let's see G signal uh, the window okay now if it's true it should see if it should say let's see uh, I'm going to change this one the a signal ID in clicked callback is percent uh, percent uh, u signal ID else g print uh, no signal ID with that ID percent u was found okay now what we do have here uh, okay we pass the signal ID what do we have here let's see I'm going to compile it and run it and let's see what the program says it says the signal ID main is 40 the signal ID in click is also 40 which means works fine okay now what happens let, let me be sure that everything works fine. So I'm going to make a copy here. I'm going to comment this call right here. And now I'm going to say uh, 65, whatever. Let's see what happens now. If we pass another ID, another different from the, that one from main. So in main we have a 42. And here says no signal with that ID for 65 uh, uh, was found. You see? So we don't have that ID but if you remove this one right here and you let uh, the G object get data to give you that uh, data you need in this case the signal ID now when you click the button see the signal ID main is 41 and the signal ID in click it callback is also 41 which means it's true see everything works fine so that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys